you are watching this video either you want to pass the ASVAB test or you want to improve your ASVAB score this is the brother does and in this video I'll give you some very important information that will help you to improve your ASVAB score I took the test and I scored 99 on AFQT and almost perfect score in other areas so I'm gonna give you like few um, advice if you follow you will pass with high score first thing first before you do anything make sure that you are serious to join in the US military that will give you a mental setup to help you to prepare for the test and going through all this process the second thing if you are uh, out of school for a long time make sure that you get a tutor who could help you to pass the test if you study by yourself, sometimes it will take longer time um, to finish all the study material and practice test before you go to that, take the test. And by that time, you might lose your interest. So if you find somebody who could help you to prepare, that would be best. Because here is the key. If you could join in the military in a few months earlier, that will pay, pay off. It doesn't matter you are spending few hundred dollars for tutoring or buy some application or books. The last thing is practice, practice, practice. It is seven, eight grade math and English. So if you have a high school diploma, so you know all the steps. But the problem here, if you go uh, get out of school for a long time, you might forget. You need some refresher. In this video, I'll also give you um, app link so that will help you to prepare for the test i downloaded almost all the application in the app store and google play to see how people are doing but i'll give you the best one so let's see and how it could help let's get started this is you could see my name is uh the brother das and um you could see my score is 99 on AFQT I got 68 in arithmetic reasoning 74 in word knowledge 56 in paragraph comprehension and 71 is math knowledge I did perfect score except the paragraph comprehension I might miss a couple of questions I, I might miss one or two questions in arithmetic reasoning too but I still got 99 because this is a percentile score, is not percent. So if you miss a couple of questions, you still can get 99. But the the good news is here, everybody, you don't need 99. If you get like 80 or 70, you get qualified for very much all the jobs you want, right? So the most important thing is study and try to get as high score as you can get so because joining in the military is not just a job this is a career path you could carry um, and you could go really really up high if you have a high score a lot of times what happen people think I'm gonna get 31 and join in the military what happened if you don't like your job so I was talking to the um, to a girl other day and she joined in the army with 31 and her job is as a cook. She deployed and came back and she doesn't like her job anymore. So then she wants to take the test again to get high score so that you could qualify for a different job. So try to get as high score as you can get because this is this is for your life, for your career. So next I'll show you what application and some strategy how to study for the ASVAB and get high score. This is the app I was talking about, ASVAB tutoring application. This app is available in App Store and Google Play. So you could see here uh, the app has 4.6 reviews um, and it, it has like a many downloads in. It's, it's not that old app but it has um, most updated information like all the study material practice tests so let's go inside the app 
and uh, see how you could study um, and improve your scores. When it comes to practice for the ASVAB test, the first thing I recommend to have a permanent notebook. Don't use loosely. This permanent notebook will help you to organize so you could write all the steps and you could go back if you need to. Then write all the steps in detail so you, you could you could remember the things you need to um, go back okay the next thing you need you need to find out what are the topics you have to study right there are many many topics calculus you don't need everything you just need seven eight grade math standard so let me just tell you what are the topics you need to study the first thing you need to know how to do addition subtraction multiplication and division for integers fraction and decimals so make sure that you know how to do basic math and another very important thing make sure that you know your multiplication table if you don't know the multiplication table it will take longer time to solve the problem and next you have to study um percent interest rate and tax ratio unit price prime number square numbers square roots cube roots scientific notation and pemdas next make sure that you study average mean median and mode distance calculation age calculation time calculation prime factorizing, probability, and different measurements. In geometry, you need to study how to find area of a circle, semicircle, rectangle, triangle, and shaded region. Perimeters, circumference. Learn different types of triangle. Learn how to find the volume of cube and cylinders learn how to calculate angles supplementary angle and complementary angle acute angle obtuse angle learn how to do factorials in math knowledge so that that's all i talk about the arithmetic reasoning in the math knowledge make sure that you learn all these topics multiply variables Multiply factors, file method, simplify algebraic expressions, find value of algebraic expression, solve algebraic expression, solve inequalities, find the exponent, middle factoring, and solve system of linear equation. If you use this app, it has all the examples based on the topics if you go to youtube and search as tutoring or um as the practice test you will see thousands of video hours and hours do you really need to ask all these videos the answer is no you need to go like in a specific you could learn everything you want but if you learn like the minimum you could focus more on that okay so in this app the, there is a very organized way that has homework and practice test based on the topic so study the homework one by one if you need to watch the video so watch the video and then do the homework one by one write down all the steps on your notebook finish at least few times and then take practice test on it same way for math knowledge when it comes to paragraph comprehension make sure you read carefully okay first read the question so that will help you to eliminate the wrong answer then go back to the paragraph and try to find out the correct answer so that is the strategy you could apply read the question eliminate the wrong answer then find the correct answer for the word knowledge, 
so there are different strategy same way so you could find that um how to eliminate the wrong answer option so let's go to the practice test and you see here so you see there are different options so try to find the um correct answer by elimin eliminating others so that will help you when you finish all this basic math and english in the app has a very nice thing it has the previous exam question okay so there are 15 16 different versions of as web test and you don't know which one you're gonna get but if you practice those final practice test problem that will give you the idea of what might be in the test you might not get like exactly same problem but it will be very similar concept so that's why the app has 4.6 review out of five once you finish all this final practice test then you could take aqt prediction test so take this prediction test at least few times every time you take a pra practice test or prediction test it will reset with new course sets of course so you know exactly what you need to study so that way it will give you um, the ability to think hey what are the area i need to improve so follow that study and then you should be um, good for the actual test so if you like the video give us a like and thank you and good luck